Hello guys, welcome to Gana Python. Till this point, we have covered it in the last tutorial, right? Now we'll see some more steps in the statistics. So let's go ahead and we'll see the geometric mean. What is geometric mean? How where we can use the geometric mean in Python? We'll see in this tutorial. So what is geometric mean? Geometric mean is a mean or average which indicates the central tendency. What it what it will indicates? It will indicate the central tendency. Central tendency means it will it will take or or it will find the uh, the central position in your data set within your data set okay it will take the central position or central point let's say we can uh, we can say let's say if you have so many points in your data set and you want to check the mean or you can say that you want to check the central location center point in your data set so this will the geometric means will help us to find the central tendency that means the central location of uh, in your data set right so this is a simple it will check the central location in your data set right so where we can uh, use the geometric mean when your data is rising exponentially okay you can take one example uh, i have given one example over here that is human population means the huge uh, human population is rising exponentially right so in this situation you can use the geometric mean to find the central tendency right one more example we have that is interest rate of of a financial investment let's say you have uh, you have invest uh, some money in your in, in in any bank so in that case your interest rate will be rise uh, uh, exponentially right so in that case also you can use the geometric mean so we'll see the example and the formula right so this is the simple geometric mean x1 uh, uh, into x2 x3 x4 okay uh, till xn L, n is this one right uh, the power of 1 by n i will explain here guys now this x1 x2 this all are the data points uh, see we have these data points 10 100 1000 10000 these are rising exponentially right so i have plot the points over here and then uh, i will uh, uh, put the power 1 by 4 that is this under root of 4 i convert it into 1 by 4 and i got this output that is 316.227 this i got with the mathematical mean in the back end what uh, what is the formula to calculate the geometric mean with this i have calculated this one and you can see here the output that i got from the jupyter notebook uh, while coding you can see this is a simple uh, uh, one package i have need to import to calculate the g mean that is uh, uh, geometric mean right and uh, this is simple array this uh, this is the same array means this is the same data point i have put over here and i have calculated the geometric mean and is this same what we calculate over here right so this is the simple formula to calculate the geometric mean it will take central point that is tendency uh, central tendency that is central point this is the center point in your data set right now we'll see one use case you can say let's say we have the mobiles okay we have apple mobile we have blackberry we have samsung we have three mobiles right so rating up to five we have the, this much rating uh, for the apple blackberry as well as uh, samsung also right so up to five we have this five rating uh, in the apple up to five we have 4.5 rating and up to five we have four rating in the samsung mobile right and up to uh, the 50 we have 49 40 and 35 we have taken the random points right now the arithmetic mean how to calculate the arithmetic mean is a simple that is five means this point to this point see you can see over here this is rising exponentially right five to 49 right so five plus 49 divided by two divided by two means the number of elements what we have that is five plus 49 divided by two that is 27 here 22.25 here 19.5 the geometric mean we already saw how to calculate uh, the geometric mean that is under root of x1 uh, x2 x3 multiplication right here as well 5 into 49 under root of means of uh, power of 1 by n 1 by n means 1 by 2 so we got the 15.65 right here as well same formula and we got this output right see in some cases we are getting uh, the we are getting the same output see we can see over here the apple rating is higher than the blackberry than the 19.5 that is samsung here as well apple rating is higher than the blackberry than the samsung right 
hope this will make sense guys but in some cases what will happen that your arithmetic mean and geometric mean uh, the output you will get the different some uh, in some cases what will uh, happen that uh, the apple rating is lower than the blackberry but what will happen in geometric mean the apple rating is higher than the blackberry so in that case i will go through this uh, normalize uh, arithmetic mean what uh, it will does uh, the formula is 5 means first rating of apple then divided by this up to 5 you can see over here plus 49 divided by this rating 50 divided by 2 i, I will normalize this with this one okay so uh, it will lies in a particular range uh, we already discussed this normalize uh, how this will work right guys so this uh, all points are in the normalized range right so uh, if you are output in arithmetic mean and geometric mean are different so you can go with the uh, normalized mean and you can see over here uh, the uh, apple rating is higher than the blackberry than the samsung means in three of these we are getting the same output but in some cases we will get the different output so that uh, you can go to calculate the normalized uh, mean so in this case the apple uh, rating is higher than the blackberry rating than the samsung rating so this is a one use case simple use case right now Hope this will make sense geometric mean right we'll go and use we'll see the harmonic mean harmonic means is also same it will check the central tendency it will check the center point of uh, in your data set right but the way to calculate the geometric mean and harmonic mean is different right so where to use this harmonic mean usually used uh, use in situation when average rate is desired then you need to calculate the average rate of particular data set so in that case you can use the harmonic mean we'll see the example uh, the average travel speed given in a duration of several trips uh, let's say you have uh, you did uh, four or five trips okay uh, in that case you are uh, each trip how much the speed of your travels or uh, your bike so this will calculate the harmonic mean right so it will what it will check it will check the uh, the average rate of your particular data set particular travels or particular bike right we'll see one example you can see over here we have the battery life right mobile's battery life we have already um, shown this data set before uh, slides as well right so this is our battery um, battery data set means each of the mobiles having uh, the their own uh, battery life right so now we need to check the average rate of battery in percentage uh, no sorry uh, we need to uh, check the uh, average rate of battery in minute means how much the battery uh, means uh, uh, your battery percent uh, means your battery life we need to check the battery life over here okay we need to check the average battery life right guys please please be attention that what i am uh, saying over here that we need to check the average battery life means average rate of battery life okay so once uh, the average rate of battery life will come then you can use the harmonic mean you can see over here when to use this harmonic mean when average rate will come when average rate you need to defer you, you need to calculate right so simple formula that how harmonic means uh, that uh, number of elements what we have one two three four five and six right six elements then uh, the reciprocal of uh, the each of the element 1 by 11 1 by 15 1 by 15 1 by 22 plus 1 by 30 plus 1 by 35 right now once you will calculate you will get 18.09 minute this is the central tendency in your data set okay this is the average rate of battery in minute okay so in this use case we can calculate if you want to calculate the average rate of battery so this is the way to you can calculate that is in the harmonic mean so you can see over here in the down uh, i have calculated with the jupyter notebook the same out uh, same data point i have taken right here as well here as well and i have calculated the mean uh, harmonic mean uh, this uh, for this it is uh, simple that uh, import statistics then with the statistics we can calculate the harmonic mean and i got the same output what we got in the practical session right hope this will make sense guys uh, how to use where to use geometric and harmonic mean uh, both are used to uh, find the uh, central tendency in your data set but the way to calculate is different and uh, where to use geometric mean that uh, when your data set uh, is rising exponentially in that case you can use the geometric mean 
right if you need to if you want to calculate the average rate of particular uh, data set uh, here we need to calculate the average rate of battery life so in this case you can use the joint uh, harmonic mean right hope this will make sense guys in the next tutorial we'll see some more steps in the statistics if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you